Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. So today's video is another menopause update. I've done about five or six menopause videos in the past. My favorite one was the one called Menopause Sucks because that is really how I feel about it. Um, so I've been going through my menopause journey for probably over 10 years now. My symptoms started when I was 45, but you know, very, very minor, only night sweats, maybe once a year, no big deal. And fast forward to now where I am 56, almost 57, I am postmenopausal. So I've been through the whole menopause thing. I have tried HRT and I was on that for a couple of years and I recently decided to do an experiment where I would wean off of HRT because I wasn't sure that it was doing that much for me. I had been on HRT for a year already at a certain dosage. My doctor and I decided to lower my dosage because I had had some bleeding and so that can be a symptom of uterine cancer so she had to do a uterine screening on me. It can also be, which in my case it was, um, an effect of having your dosage be too high. And so we had to lower my dosage of estrogen, and which we did. So we put me on a lower dose patch. Once I was on that lower dose patch, I was still not having hot flashes, which was great, but my sleep wasn't as good as it had been when I was on the higher dosage. And so after like being two years into it, I had kind of forgotten what hot flashes were like, I guess, and what the symptoms were really like, the brain fog and everything else. And I was only noticing that I wasn't getting that great sleep that I was on the higher dosage. And so when I went back to see my doctor the next year, this past winter, I said, you know what, I'm not sure this HRT is really doing that much for me. So I'm thinking of doing an experiment where I wean off of it and then I'll know for sure. And she was like, yeah, okay, that sounds good. And I said, well, if you were me, what would you do? And she goes, I wouldn't be on it at all. And I was like, what? Why? And I was, I was so confused because she had agreed to put me on it in the first place. And so that really scared me because, you know, most of us, what our knee-jerk reaction to HRT is, is that we heard about the WHI study that was done, you know, a long time ago, but where there was a huge amount of breast cancer from it and a huge amount of blood clots and HRT was not good for you and nobody should be on it or you should only be on it for the smallest amount of time possible. And so I kind of was like, oh, oh God, she really doesn't think it's safe. And so I said, all right, let me go ahead with this experiment and I'll wean off of it. And so we weaned off over the last six months. So I have been completely off of HRT for about a month now. And I gotta say the first two weeks weren't bad. And I was like, yeah, this seems fine. And then it crashed and burned. <laughs> and two weeks ago, I started having hot flashes like you cannot believe. And now that I'm having like 10 or 15 hot flashes a day, and I'm having even more at night that it's keeping me up all night and I cannot sleep. I'm generally most days going on about four and a half, five and a half hours of sleep. This is not a good thing. When I first went on HRT, I wanna say I was getting around eight, eight and a half hours of sleep a night. I was sleeping like a baby, it was great. Then when I went down to the next dosage, which was the 0.03, seven five I think then I was sleeping about seven and a half to eight hours a night and that was about when I got my Fitbit so this has been tracking my sleep so now I actually know how much sleep I was getting then when I started on the weaning off dosage then I started getting about six and a half or under um, and so now I've seen me lose like two hours of sleep a night which you know what it's a lot it's a lot for a person who like needs to be on on camera and speaking and saying things that make sense and then editing videos and then talking to you on Instagram and talking to you on Facebook and not being moody and not being overly sensitive and just feeling normal and like feeling like I'm a functioning human being that can get stuff done. And so over the last two weeks, it really became clear to me that this was a failed experiment, that I really needed to be back on the HRT in order to really function well in my life. So. I called my doctor to say, okay, failed experiment. Let's put me back on because I did make her promise that she would put me back on because originally she did say she would want to keep me on it for five years and I've only been like two, maybe three years. And um, what do you think happened? She was on vacation. 
<laughs> so I said to the nurse, well, there's got to be another doctor at the practice that can just call my prescription in. And she's like, okay, I'll get in touch with her and see what she says. Well, she called back the next day and I thought it was going to be your golden. Nope. It was like, she's not comfortable with this. She wants to wait for your doctor to get back from vacation. And I'm thinking, is she not going to put me back on it? And so I was kind of in a panic. Fortunately, she came back from vacation. She did put me back on it. And so now I'm back on it. So I've had my hormones in my system now for two whole days. So in that couple of days when I was panicked about whether she was going to put me back on or not, I was really looking for some information. I was looking for solid information so that I could make the decision. And so in order to do that, I felt like I needed more information. I didn't need just this fear response from the WHI thing or from my doctor saying, well, I wouldn't be on it at all. Because um, I know people are, who are on it. I mean, my mother was on HRT for 20 years. Anyway, so in order to get that information, the first place I went, you know, is YouTube because I live here on YouTube. And so I started watching a couple of people that I had watched before. One was Menopause Taylor, who used to be Menopause Barbie. I had watched a number of her videos previously when I was trying to make a decision about this. And she is amazing. So last week I started re kind of binge watching her videos and I've missed a quite a few over the last year or so and she has a series about what happens to your body to each of your individual organs when your body isn't producing estrogen anymore i've learned that it's so much more than just masking the symptoms or putting off the symptoms because estrogen does so much more inside your body to help you function and so i think that you know just kind of pulling away from the fear in it and getting the real information is so important and so you know obviously i'm not saying that everybody should be on it there are segments of the population that should definitely not be on it but you have to be armed with all the information so that you can make a real informed judgment and a real informed decision about what you want to do and i feel like now i'm actually able to make that informed decision. So I'm now back on the estrogen and the progesterone. I do take a bioidentical one of each. My estrogen is a patch. My progesterone is something that I take orally. My plan is to stay on it for as long as I possibly can because I'm thinking like if I'm going to have to go through this hot flash, no sleep thing, I'll do it later. I'll do it when I'm 70. <laughs> I'll do it when I'm 75. I'll maybe do it when I'm 80. Anyway, wish me luck with that. If you enjoyed the video, found it helpful and informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. And as always, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.